hello guys welcome back in this video i am going to tell you how you can create your own iot smart bulb which you can control using your smartphone the which i am controlling right now see when i press the button the uh, led lights on and if i press the button again the led will light off see i am doing this using a blink app and uh, i am going to tell you how you can create your own uh, using the same so for that now let me explain you the circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram of the project here i have used one node mcu board two channel relay and a 12 volt 1 ampere dc bulb so here i have given the uh, 12 volt 1 ampere directly to the node mcu here node mcu can easily handle this wattage <coughs> that means 12 volt 1 ampere and after that i have given the same voltage level to this bulb because it is also a 12 volt 1 ampere bulb and uh, i have given the same voltage to the relay uh, as i have connected the 12 volt and ground pin and as i have used the external voltage i can also give the same using this node mcu board but i'll prefer to give this uh, give the voltage as an external voltage and here i have connected this yellow wire to the d0 pin of the node mcu to the in1 pin of the relay so this is the circuit diagram you can download blink app from google play store so i have already installed so i am opening it now click on create new account or if you are having account previously made then click on login so i am having my account here so i am clicking on login so here it is asking for email id and password uh, i have my email id already entered so i am going to enter the password only so i have entered my password here so i am going to click on login okay so now we are having three options uh, new project my apps and community so we have to create a new project so click on the first option now give your project name so in my case i am uh, creating a smart bulb so i am giving the same name now choose the device in my case i am using node mcu so here is the node mcu and remain the connection type to Wi-Fi only and now click on create okay so as you can see the authentication token was sent to my email id and now click on ok okay so we are having our interface ready for creating a button here just click on this plus button in the middle of these two settings and play button now choose the first button uh, make this button in center now click on the button ok so this is the button setting now choose the pin to D0 and now slide the uh, slider to the switch type now go back and now click on this play button so for now our work from blink app is complete as you can see uh, the one red one option is coming this means that the board is not uh, uh, yet connected to the blink app so for that i am going to tell you how you can connect to it because we have to enter the authentication token and we have to upload the blink code in a uh, node mcu after that it will automatically connect it to this app so for that i am going to explain you the code first so this is the code for the project but before understanding this code we need to install the blink library so you need to go to this page a uh, github page and you need to clone this library or you, you uh, download the zip file directly and i'll attach the link of this library in the description box and as i have already installed so i'll tell you the procedure how to install the library uh, after download the zip file just go to the sketch and click on include library after that click on add zip file 
now navigate uh, to where you have downloaded that library so I have downloaded in my downloads so as you can see uh, this is the library blink library master and just click on open and the library will going to install in your system as I have already installed so I am not going to click on it or click on open so after downloading the library uh, you will get this code while clicking on file and go to the examples and go to the blink and under blink go to the boards Wi-Fi and inside it click on this node MCU so after clicking on it you need to make three changes on it first one is that you need to uh, give your own authentication token which you have uh, received on your gmail from blink app uh, which I'll going to show you right as you can see it is not showing that uh, I have received the authentication token if the same case with you then click on this promotion button uh, the blink uh, authentication to token might come in this promotion section so if you're not found this in the inbox section then click on this promotion section you will find your authentication token in the promotion section as you can see in promotion section I am getting the blink and uh, a new is written on it that means we are getting we are having our authentication token here so click on this message and copy your authentication token and paste it on your code so this is my authentication token so I am just going to copying it and now I am going to paste it inside your authentication token instead so this is my authentication token after that you need to change your SSID so in my case my SSID is vivo1801 and the password is this and you can change these with your own Wi-Fi network credentials and after that you do not need to uh, made any changes but you need to add one line uh, this line you need to add by yourself blink dot sync all this function uh, this function will retain the previous state uh, at which our device is active that means if we, we are having our device in on state and if suddenly power cut off that uh, and uh, again the power back power came back then our light will or our, or our bulb will automatically switch to on state we do not need to again press the on button from our smartphone so this is the benefit of this blink dot sync all that means our last last state will automatically sync so after that our code is completely ready now i'll going i'm going to explain you a little bit so here we have we have defined the uh, blink library uh, library inside blink library blink print serial which will going to print something on serial monitor and after that this is the basic library for ESP8266 Wi-Fi that means node MCU and uh, after that we are having a blink library blink simple ESP82266.h and after that we have the authentication token as an array and we have two arrays SSID and password for uh, containing SSID and the password of our network credentials and in void setup we are beginning the serial communication at the baud rate of 9600 and after that we are beginning uh, the connection to the blink server uh, using the authentication token and SSID and password and after that we are recalling the last state and after that we are uh, creating we are calling the blink function blink dot run inside the void loop which will continuously uh, running and our connection with the blink server is going to establish now upload this code into your no uh, node mcu so click on upload button see when I press the button the uh, LED lights on and if I press the button again the LED will light off see so this is our project thank you